Hey friends, it's Natalia and welcome back to She Makes 31. In today's video, I am sharing how I decorated my kitchen for fall and I'm also going to be cooking up a yummy comfort food that is perfect for these fall months. I am so excited to get all things fall started. All right, friends, to get started, I wanted to show you a couple of new items that I got for my kitchen. And I'm starting off with this utensils set and this new crock that I got. Uh, the utensils are from Amazon. I've been having, like, I've had the same utensils now for, like, over 10 years. I, it's been a long time. <laughs> it was time for new ones. I wanted something that was more neutral and just that matched, you know, the aesthetic, right, of the kitchen. Um, so I love this like khaki color. And um, these are silicone and they come in a variety of colors and I just love, love, love them. And the crock that I got is from Target and it matches the canisters that I already own. Here I'm opening up my brand new Caraway cookware. I am so excited about this. I've been looking for good cookware, non-toxic ceramic for the longest time and Caraway fit the bill. It's beautiful. It comes in a variety of colors. And can you guess what color I got? This was packaged so beautifully and it actually comes with organizers. So did you guess? Blue! That is my favorite color. I love this. It's called navy. A while back I watched this documentary on cookware and just a lot of the harmful chemicals and things that are released when you're cooking and so I've just been looking for something that is healthy for our family and Caraway is definitely it. It is an investment for your kitchen and for your health and I just love that it's aesthetically pleasing. It's just so beautiful to you know look at and cooking is amazing and I'll show you guys here in a little while when I start cooking. I will have a link in the description box with a discount code for 10% off site-wide. It is valid until September 26th of 2022. Okay, so this is one of my most favorite things about this set. It comes with organizers. It's included. I've never bought a set of pots and pans that comes with its own organizers. And not only that, but they are also magnetic, which is so cool. You could put these inside of a cabinet or even on your countertops. You can use them as a drying rack. It's just amazing, guys. I had to include this little clip because I find it oddly satisfying to peel back all this plastic when you're opening up something new. <laughs> all right, friends, I wanted to give you a close up of these. They are beautiful. Like they are, they have a good weight to them. They are nice and thick. I don't know if you can see how they shimmer a little bit. They have like that shimmery finish to them. And look at the lids. like. It almost looks like it's like painted or something. It's just such a beautiful finish. And they come in all these different colors. I got blue because that's my favorite. But look at this. These are nice, like top quality, dude. I, this is like the nicest set I've ever had. And I'm so thankful for it. This right here, perfect for like rice. This here is like my main one for like all my, you know, dinners and stuff like that. It's enough to fit so much. Perfect for pastas, soups, chili. This is like the perfect, this Dutch oven is amazing. I love it. And this nice skillet here, fry pan, perfect for like cooking eggs. 
on the go, grilled cheese sandwich. Look at how nice they are. Whoa. All right, now it's time to organize the pots and pans cabinets. I love that this really made a lot more room in here with the organizers. I can fit so much more in my cabinet this way. I will be updating you guys as I continue to use this cookware and just show you how it holds up. Now it was time to set up the hanging organizer for the lids. This is definitely a way to save space because these just hang off of the cabinet door and don't take up any room. I've always had such a hard time keeping lids organized and just getting them all over the place. And this also protects your cookware. So I love that they include this into their cookware sets. Thank you, Caraway, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And thank you to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. All right, I'm putting these babies to the test and I'm going to cook some dinner. All right, today's recipe is cubed steaked and mashed potatoes. I'm starting off with the seasoning for the meat. It includes some brown sugar, black pepper, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder and paprika. I will have the link to the recipe in the description box. You also want to go ahead and do a gravy, prepare a gravy, and that includes things such as chicken broth, beef broth, beef bouillon, onion powder, garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce. Can you say that? <laughs> and you also need an onion. I got about two and a half pounds of Idaho potatoes boiling here. The great thing about caraway also is that it retains heat really well. So on medium, I was able to get these to boil. After boiling them, I went ahead and smashed them. And this is kind of just my recipe that I do on my own. Um, put salt, you know, as much salt as you'd like to taste. I don't really have an exact measurement, but um, I add heavy whipping cream or half and half. This time I had heavy whipping cream, so I added a little bit of splash of milk, but half and half is probably best. And you start whisking that in, it gives it really a creamy texture. I also add garlic powder in as well. Here is my cube steak. You want to go ahead and get a mallet here and just um, smash it, <laughs> smash it until it's about a half inch thick. Um, this, this is really important. It tenderizes the meat. Um, and so you want to sprinkle your seasoning on both sides. And then after that, you were going to get some flour and sprinkle it on both sides as well. I added a drizzle of olive oil on medium heat to my pan and went ahead and seared these steaks until they were pretty brown. It just depends on what you like. Um, it does say about three minutes on each side, but you know, you do it to your liking. I will say the non-stick on these pans is amazing. They just like effortlessly slided through this pan. Nothing stuck to it, which was amazing. After your steaks are browned and seared, you take them out of the pan and then you add your onion. You want to cook this basically to like caramelize them almost, um, if that's what you like. Um, but you want them to be nice and soft. I added a couple of tablespoons of butter as well. I 
I do want to apologize for my voice. I have been sick all week and I'm still congested, but I am definitely on the mend. Thank God. It's been a really, really just crazy week. So after your onions are done, you want to add the gravy mixture and have that simmer until you see it thicken up. Once it's thickened up, you want to go ahead and add your steaks back in and let them continue to cook a little longer. And you want to put the cover on like, and just leave a little bit of an opening um, and just let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Right, here it is ready to be served this is so good guys my whole family loved it even the kids liked it um, and the gravy is just amazing with the mashed potatoes I would normally serve this up with green beans but we were out so I had to get my trusty canned carrots which my kiddos love as well All right, friends, it's time to decorate. I'm still sick, but I don't have a fever at the moment. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and get some decorating done. I have the top of my cabinets to do. And here's what I got going on so far. What I have out, a bunch of greenery, some signs, pumpkins, mugs, all sorts of stuff. Oh, don't mind those. <laughs> and here are um, some treats for my little candy dish idea that I have going on. But yeah, so I'm going to climb up there. Hopefully I don't, you know, get hurt. <laughs> and put um, some of this here. I got this at Joann's. I got it for like 60% off. So I did pay very much for it because normal price is $16.99. Um, but I love this garland. I like the brown tones and stuff that I'm really loving. So yeah, I'm going to put it up there. I'm also going to put this wreath up. This was a DIY from a couple of years ago. Love it. And see, I was already thinking with brown back then. So I'm going to hang that up above the cabinets right over here. I do have a command hook behind this cabinet. It hangs upside down so that I can hook all my wreaths up this way. All right, next I'm working on this little area where my coffee maker is. I have my little pumpkin mug from Target last year. And then I also have this wooden riser that I got from the Target Bullseye Playground. They have them again this year, and I loved how they're shaped like a little cutting board. And if you saw my shop with me and haul, you saw this little amber vase. I added some florals or maple leaves uh, to this and added my little sugar canister from Ray Dunn. And this little um, spoon holder is from Hobby Lobby and my little pumpkin. How did you get up here so fast? Just putting some pumpkins out here, trying not to, you know, kill myself in the process. Let's see how that goes. Here I'm cleaning up my counters with the Mrs. Myers apple cider scent. It is 
hands down my favorite scent that they have and these are the canisters that match the um, crock that I showed you earlier in this video. And so since we're going to be hosting community groups for our church at our home this week and for the next couple of months, I thought this mug tree would be perfect. That way people can grab a cup for their coffee or their tea. I found this candle holder from Michaels this year and it's a perfect size for the Bath & Body Works single wick candles. They um, have them on sale actually right now and I got the leaves scent and I'm really enjoying it. It really gives like a cozy just feeling of fall all over your house. This is actually a little appetizer dish that I got from the Bullseye Playground a couple years back, but I like to use it as a spoon rest. Also from Target are these towels, these kitchen towels. I couldn't find anything that I really loved, but I liked the simplicity of this. The description says that they're pink, but they're definitely not pink. They have an orange tone to them. I also love to change out my soaps for each season, so I got the matching leaves hand soap from Bath & Body Works and my Mrs. Myers cleaner right next to it and the not so aesthetically pleasing <laughs> Gain um, power spray, but it works amazing, so I'm keeping it right there on hand. You guys see Caleb in the background wearing his little blippy hat? He's so cute. So here I'm moving along to this corner where I usually put a tiered tray. I have a two-tiered tray this time around that I wanted to put here. I usually do my three-tier black and white one, but I really like the look of this, the brown uh, with all the fall colors. Now this is a process and you'll see me pull up my phone here because I did do a lot of trial and error in rearranging things here and moving things around and then when I liked it I took a picture of it and then I took it down cleaned everything and filmed it for you guys so you can see the process a lot more sped up Now most of the items that you see here are some that I've collected over the years from the Target Bullseye section and also from Hobby Lobby. So the measuring spoons and the measuring cups along with the uh, greenery is from Hobby Lobby and all the little signs and the pumpkins, those are all from Target Bullseye. I can hear you within the silence. This ended up being my favorite piece of decor in the kitchen and it ended up with a pumpkin pie baking theme. 
and here's this little pumpkin glass jar that I'm using as a candy dish putting in some Reese's and also some of these Hershey chocolates Now I'm doing some final touches, just cleaning up the counters, and then I will show you what it looks like. Alright friends, here is the fall kitchen reveal. Alright friends, that is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. I hope that you enjoy this video. I will have more fall decorating videos coming very soon and also a backyard makeover that I'm doing at my friend's house that will be coming soon. And uh, before you leave, make sure that you check um, Caraway's website because they have beautiful cookware, guys. Thank you again. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.